Eggy Party just released their brand new Eggyverse Arcade, and it is so much fun. I mean, seriously, guys, it's chock full of different mini games you can play with your friends or even solo. Plus, the base game itself is just so much fun to play. And the best part is the rounds don't even last that long. It's the perfect kind of pick me up game when you're on a bus ride to school, sitting down for lunch at work, or if you just have some spare time on the couch at home. And the best part is you can play this game for free and directly support my channel by going down below in the description and downloading from our sponsor, Eggy Party. Seriously, guys, it's a free way to support the channel and you get to play this awesome game. Go check it out. So now, first things first, when you load in the game, you'll make yourself a character. This cute little guy right here is mine. Now, of course, there's a bunch of different combinations of characters you can make. So if you go to the backpack here, you'll actually be able to go ahead and even assign different pieces of clothing to them. So I can throw on a fun t-shirt or even these hilarious tiger bottoms. And if you just want to completely make over your character as well, you can do that too. There's tons of different faces to choose from, colors as well, and outfits that you can throw on top. So pretty much you can customize your Eggie to be just like you. Well, sort of anyway. I mean, do I look like that? Now, one of the main reasons I want to do this video as well is because there's a limited time event called the Eggieverse Arcade. I really hope it comes back in the future, but I don't know. Now, with the Eggieverse Arcade, there are countless different games that you could select to play through. I mean, literally, tons of them. And if you even just hit Explore More, it expands the list entirely. You can sort by daily picks, weekly hottest, or if you know the name of a game you want to play, like for instance myself, I want to do Snake I.O., you can just search for it and find it right there. And the cool part is you can either create your own room or you can do a solo adventure for most of these games. But let's join in real quick with this group here. They already got four people. Oh, it looks like the game's starting. So the other people quit. It's just going to be a 1v1, which makes this extra intense. If you don't know how Snake IO is played, it's actually really easy. It's pretty much you just go around, you collect these orbs in order to make your snake longer and longer. Then you try to cut the other person off and explode them by getting them to crash into your sides. It's... Kind of difficult in some ways. Also, I have an invincible ability, which seems really overpowered. So if we're ever about to die or something, we can just use that. Dude, this guy is doing so much better than me. Okay, we got to use our rocket thrusters. I was going slow while I was explaining, but time to all to take all the bets off. All the bets are off. We got to be thrustering the whole time and hope for the best. It's also very hard to control like this. Imagine if there were eight other players and you were thrustering around. Dude, it ain't pretty. Oh! We beat him! Okay, that's fine though. There's still 10 minutes left in the race, but dude, he is gonna be so mad after that. Look at our score at the top of the screen compared to his. 270 to 63. Dude, we've ruined him. We actually ruined him a little bit. All right, my goal is gonna be to get to 1,000 points. Or just beat him overall. The guy quits, I win. If it's 10 minutes and I have the bigger snake, I win. But if I get to 1,000 points, I'm also counting that as a win. It's going to take a little while. Without without taking him out again, it's going to take a while. But by the way, he's actually catching up again. He's gaining on me a little bit here. He's got 240. Yeah, my insane lead is going downhill fast. Also, I don't even see... Oh, there he is. I didn't see him for a while. I was curious. Let's see if I can cut this guy off. Let's see if I can get him. Oh my gosh! I actually just got him again! That's gotta be so sad for him. We're now at 700 points on the board, dude. I, I actually feel bad about that a little bit. He worked so hard to catch up to me again, and then I just stopped him in his tracks. Alright, here we go. Uh-oh. Someone's trying to make their way around here, but I don't like it. You go away, pal. I'm pretty sure at some point, if I was like double the length, I could probably reach across the whole side of the map. Which, I guess, would make me almost invincible in some ways. Unless someone came from a different side. Like, they came from like the top and I was up there. Or, you know, I, 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 it would make you really strong. Make you really, really strong. Alright, I'm at 920 points out of my goal to get to 1,000, which is hilarious. And oh my gosh, this guy's trying to, he's trying to make moves. That guy was just trying to make moves on me there. He doesn't want me to get to 1,000. And GG, we got a thousand points. So you know what? I'm going to let this guy take the win. And let me show you guys another game called Eggy Synthesis that is so much fun to play. Now, there's two ways to play this game. There is multiplayer and solo. I'm going to do solo and race against the clock instead of another player because... I'm not very good at puzzle-like games. So, this game's really cool. You hop on over to one of these platforms. So, you would hop on this one. Your opponent would hop on the other. And then, you face each other in a time-based battle. So, as you can see, we had 49 minutes and we'll call it 40 seconds when we're going to start. And then, 
Boom, let's go. So the whole point of this game is to match different types of blocks together in order to make them bigger and bigger, and then eventually reach the top of the screen. So you see how the blues become the gold coins, the gold coins become the pink ones, and then we can kind of hit them on top of each other like that in order to move them around. And look, it gets easier and easier from there. So eventually you're trying to make it to the very tippity top of the screen, and, and you just have a lot going on. Obviously, by the end, no matter what, you are going to make it to the top. So there is no such thing as losing, I suppose, unless you're, like, racing against your opponent. But there's no real losing. It's just really about getting the best time possible. But in theory, you can just keep spam dropping these. It'll just take you longer. And therefore, you're not going to beat your opponent in a race. Okay, let's see. Oh, those two should have definitely combined there. What the heck? All right, let me do that. Hey, there we go. Now we got the big one. Oh, dude. Dude, we're getting some really big ones out here. Look at these go. I feel like it's giving us bigger and bigger ones as we go on, too, which is great news. Oh, we're about to get a huge amount of gains here. Oh, my gosh. Dude, and even these two right here. How big is that going to get? Oh, my goodness gracious. That is humongous, dude. I actually haven't beaten this game yet, so I'm really curious how big these things get in order for you to win. Like, do you think it's going to be a single one that just takes up the whole screen, or do you think it'll be, like, a bunch of smaller ones, you know? I don't, I don't honestly know the answer. There we go. We'll drop that in there. I like that the smaller drops that you do get pushed away the big ones. I was afraid that because they're so small, they wouldn't really have an impact, but they definitely are able to push them away, which is nice. Otherwise, I feel like you'd get stuck a little bit. Oh, dude, see, now we're dropping even the yellow eggs down. So it definitely does get easier as time goes on. You get some bigger ones in there. There we go. Oh! Big combinations! Okay, let's see if we can somehow get that pink one to move over to the other pink one there and move on. Um, ooh. Well, that'll help out a little bit. I can maybe move those together. All right. There we go. Easy. Come on, give me a yellow one. Oh, that's a big one! Jeez! They're giving me such big ones to start now. That's crazy. Also, we have some stuff, some of these, like, coins down there that are just getting trapped. That I don't think we're ever going to get to combine them together again. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is getting spicy! And we actually ended up winning. So right now, if you look, that I think is one of the top forms you can get. I don't know if there's anything above it. We could try it out and see what happens. But the game did just give me a notification that we did get the final form. So I, I, I am curious what's going to happen if we keep playing. I, like I said, I've never actually gone through and completely beat this game. So I, I kind of want to just see what happens if we just keep going. I kind of want to see if there's like a form above this one. Oh, come on. No! There's one of those in the way, so we can't combine those two. Oh, come on. See if you can slip down there. Oh, yo. The, this, these guys are getting big now. Dude, they're filling up half the screen. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. We have to be close. We have to be close to being able to combine with that one. Oh, maybe not, actually. They're taking up too much room now. Oh, there we go. We got two of them together. Okay, now how do we combine these two? To be honest, I feel like they were already kind of touching. I don't, I don't know if... Maybe there isn't a way to get them to, to work together on this, which is so sad. All right, I think it's safe to say we won. All right, so this next game is called Trial by Ice and Fire, and the whole point of it is to try and get through a bunch of obstacles as quick as possible. Now, you can play against other people in multiplayer or solo and just time yourself. I'm personally just going to be doing solo here. And the cool part is you actually get access to all sorts of new abilities. So they have a fireball, they have an ice ball, and we have a few other abilities as well that will help us get through these various obstacles. So there we go. Now those are cleared. Use the roly-poly ball and get to the other side. All right, now this part right here. Honestly, I think it's more so a parkour than anything else. And... Oh, we can just swim through the water. All right, I'm going to do that instead, obviously. I don't, I don't want to go for the lava, though. Lava seems like it'd be a bad idea. All right, let's see. Can we... Hey, that actually worked. Can I roll across? No, I'm not fast enough rolling to go across those. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Now I'm starting to mess up a little bit here. Oh, looks like there's writing on the ground. Let's see what it says. A detailed guy, the ice player, goes into the water and pushes the board to the center, then hit the board with a fireball and bounce into it. Okay, so the ice player hits the board. Let's see, will it work? No, switch to... Okay, perfect. And that didn't work! Oh, jeez, oh, jeez. All right, I think we're like one or two more pushes away from this thing. Come on. Get in the water, dude! Oh, my gosh, we're running out of time. 
We're literally running out of time. Not really, that was like 48 minutes. I don't think it's gonna take that long to beat this puzzle. All right, there we go. So we got it in, and now we can push this thing along. All right, here we go, and... Oh my gosh, no, 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 no. Get on the raft. Do we even need the raft, actually? Hold on a second here. We might not have even needed the raft. Let me see if I can just swim across here. I can't tell if it's working or not. Oh, I see. You have to try and shoot that ball up there probably with the fire. Let's see. Oh, dude. How are you supposed to make it up there? Oh, maybe we gotta... Maybe we gotta push this towards the middle a little bit. There we go! I actually hit it! Let's go, dude! All right, let's see if I can make it over to the end here now. Come on! Oh, what's this next obstacle? What's this next obstacle? Tip. Freezing water and fire breaks ice. Okay. So, so can I freeze the... Dude, what? Okay. Well, that's cool. But then... It turns into a finished platform, dude! That's so sick! Oh my gosh, look at that! All right! Oh, this one over here never transformed. That's fine, we'll just do that. Hit it with a fireball. Dude, we are crushing this thing right now. And then I completely flopped. Oh, okay, good. It, it took pity on me. It actually counted it. All right, what's the next tip? Uh, read the signs and don't step on them. As I was standing on top of the sign, I said, do not step on them. I love that. Can I jump into it? No? Maybe I just missed? No? Maybe I gotta break it with a fireball? That was exactly it. I had to break it with a fireball. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You can't stay on top of these signs for too long. I'm pretty sure they break if you do. Nice. Okay, now we're in a new area. Tip. You read the right. This is one step for each person. What? Oh, this is if you're doing it multiplayer. Okay, I, I'm hopefully able to beat this thing with that multiplayer on. Let's see. Yeah, so if you're the opposite, then you shouldn't be standing on there. But you can just change between ice and fire, so it's fine. Okay, what is this? Do you think... I think I'm just supposed to jump up? What did I just do? Was that even me, or was that like a time-based thing? Oh, there we go! There we go, so we knocked it down and made a perfectly easy stepping stone to get across. Look at that, guys! We're solving puzzles! I'm proud of us. Alright, what's next? Uh, that must be the end over there. So let's see, can I just slam into that with a fireball? And then maybe I just switch to ice? Or I just keep spamming with fire? That was it! Yeah, you had to switch between the two. Okay, I was gonna say, it's definitely one of those two things. And perfect! Shoot to open the door or inject energy into the glass sphere. What's this tip say? Ice property activates glass spheres. The fire activates the red sphere. Okay. So maybe I gotta aim for this door over here. No. I must just have to try and direct hit it. Which is easier said than done. Well, I am completely stumped to this part, so let me know down below in the comments section if you're able to beat this. Download the game, like I said before, and try this particular one out. I want to see if you can beat it. Because I can! Alright, now next up we have Eggy Overcooked. So we're going to see what this one is all about. It's a one-to-one -one recreation of the first level of Overcooked. Oh, okay, that's going to be sick. Let's give this a try. Now, normally you do this with more than one person. I want to see if I can beat it with one person, though. Let's see what happens. Start the game. There's no tutorial. Let's do it. Oh, there's a tutorial. It lied. Remove, snatch the ingredients from the box, cut into small sashimi, plate them. Okay. All right, here we go. So let's go ahead and start chopping these things to bits here. So we can put them down like this. Now, how do we cut them up? How do we cut? Oh, God. Oh, God. That's not how you do that. That's not how you do that. Oh, there we go. There's the knife. Okay, we got to pick one of these up. We got an idea. What if we bring this over to one of the knife pads? There we go. Cut it up. Oh, dude. No way. All right, so we're actually cutting up the sushi here. Come on, come on, come on. Cut faster. All right, did that work? It's all chopped up now, and now we gotta plate it. No, plate. Oh, it's over here. There's the plate. No! What do we do with it? What do we do with it? Oh, you know what? I know what we're doing wrong. We need to take this, put the plate down there. No, not on the floor. Put it on the... Get on the plate. Why won't you be plated? Maybe I need to cut these up again. Let me bring them back over here. Oh, it wasn't fully diced up. That was the problem. All right. Now we dish that up. Pick it up and drop it on off. 
Serve it up. There we go. And let's do one more of the other one. Let's go. Ahead. Let's see. We already got that one down, Pat. Let's see how much faster we can be now that we know what we're doing. All right, here we go. Toss it down. Cut that up in a little bits. Dude, this is so crazy to me that all this is within Eggy Party. Like, the fact that you can make a game like this within a game is crazy. Let's put the plate down. Get that going there. No, not the floor. That's supposed to go in the customer's mouth. Gross. All right, there we go. And perfect, serving them up. Now, I love ranked games. They're super competitive, but at the same time, they're quick, easy, and a lot of fun as well. You get kind of the best of every single world. And like I said, this game doesn't take that long to play from start to finish, so you really can just sit there at lunch or on a bus or anything and get through uh, an entire round. All right, looks like we found a lobby. Let's head on in and wish me luck. Now, the way it works is you play through multiple different games that eliminates a set amount of players each round. This start, there's 32 different players, However, each round should eliminate about eight different players until eventually there's one left, which I hope is you. All right, here we go. So on this level right here, 24 of us have to finish and the other eight are automatically eliminated. So this is for all the marbles. Not that every round isn't really for all the marbles. Also, if you're not really into like ranked gameplay or competitive or anything like that, they have so many things in the arcade and I can't wait to show you a couple of my favorites. However, there's like almost endless. I mean, people keep making them non-stop. Which, by the way, you guys can do as well. You can even make your own games within Eggy Party, which is so cool. Alright. Now, one of my favorite abilities right here is this roll. A lot of people don't use it as much as they should, at least until the later rounds, and it's honestly such a waste for them. Like, look, because we used our roll ability, we're probably gonna get first place here for the round, which totally unnecessary that we did, actually, to be honest. We only need to get the top 24, but, you know, it's best to set a good precedence. Oh my gosh! Look at that amalgamation of people! What is that thing? Oh, okay, they passed. They're good, they're good. I, I thought a bunch of them were gonna fall off there. That was a- Oh my gosh, there's a big group of them again, bro! Why are they all grouped up like that? That's pretty great. There's also a few other abilities as well, so I only really showed the roll. However, you do have, for instance, a basic jump ability. You have a dive ability as well, which when combined with jump, allows you to get over some pretty big gaps. And you even have the ability to pick up players and drop them or throw them. It's really funny, actually, to troll people with that, but don't, don't. I didn't tell you that, okay? Ooh, downhill derby. All right, let's go. I like this one a lot. This one is honestly a little bit difficult in my opinion, but, but it's a good time. It's a good time. And... Come on. There we go. The gates are open. But being it's downhill, maybe I can get a little bit of a roll. Oh, well, now, of course, a roll didn't charge until we're at the uphill part. Can I have roll uphill? Will that work? Ah, a little bit. You don't go as quick as you could, but it definitely does something. Whoa, someone had a portal ability. That's so cool. I have a fish that I can hit people with. And, ooh, now I have a spring rope. Should I use that? Let's do it. Dude. I love the random abilities you can get. Oh my god, another spring rope. Spring rope! Dude, the spring ropes just put me in second place. First! I actually just finished first at the end. Look at that clutch! Dude, spring rope ability is my favorite one. That's crazy. Because we used two of them, we were literally able to just launch right into first place and take it easy. So remember guys, if you want to support my channel directly and try this game out for free at any point in time, you can hop down below in the description and support my channel by doing so. It's literally that easy. Just hit that download button. Come on guys, looking at you. All right, here we go. Round's gonna start here. I gotta remember to jump over that starting gate because it gives people like an extra foot on me every time and I never do it for some reason. I just always forget, I guess. Plus it kind of feels like cheating. Oh, there we go. There it is, the finisher. See what it did there? It's a pun, you know, because because fish fins and and, and yeah, the finisher. It's it's a pun, dude. I don't know if I'm supposed to do a tightrope walk on that, but I'll take it. Ooh, accelerate ability. Well, clearly didn't accelerate me enough. Okay. Oh no 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 no. We ain't losing out on our lead here. Get away from me. Eh. Dive across. There we go. Fifth place. Not nearly as good as the first place we're doing. We're starting to slide a little bit there. We went from getting first place every time to fifth on that. Ew. We gotta step it up. We can't be letting people down here. All right, here we go. The final eight are on the board. What'll be our last game? Ooh, bomb squad. This one's good. This one's good. All right, we gotta choose our ultimate skill. I'm gonna choose... I'm actually... I might choose Eggy Bomb instead of Lightning. Eggy Bomb's a really good ultimate skill. Especially for game modes like this, pretty much it'll allow me to implode and send people flying, which is perfect for the final game mode because then you can just kind of launch them off into the atmosphere. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Many, many bombs going everywhere. Four people have died already? Dude. All right, here we go. My ability's ready. I just brain-deaded it through a hole in the floor. Well, I'm ashamed of myself. But the good news is we did level up even with all the shame that I have. So what you can do with leveling up is really cool. You can actually use that to apply stat points to your egg in order to make it even stronger. So let me show you guys real quick. So in the top left of the screen, right below your name, you'll see an up arrow and you can use that to level up different abilities. So like roll acceleration. Yeah, we want to we want to increase that and roll duration. So now it lasts longer and will help us go faster, which should in theory make it way easier for us to beat people in the future. And make sure you explore all the other game modes they have, like Music Festival, they got Food Map, Flower Planet, Rainbow Dash. Seriously, guys, they have so many game modes in here. You want to try them all out in the Eggiverse Arcade.